Well, hello all, and welcome to Q Review News. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't just stare at it. Yo, what is up, people? Just when I thought I couldn't get any more surprises, Marvel dropped another right. huge it's surprise great. on us, and I'm gonna get to that in this Q Review News. But let's first talk about the box office this weekend. Deadpool and Wolverine is cleaning the fuck up. So I thought, you know, initially, like the box office, they would have made like, you know, something close to $200 million. But it turns out, Globally, the movie is pressing in at like 400 and almost 30 million dollars the first opening weekend. So I don't know what the drop off going to be next week. You know, um, it could drop uh, significantly, but I think this film um, definitely has the chance to do a uh, billion dollars, bro. Yeah, I, I see this movie making a billion dollars because I think um, people are gonna people are gonna be talking about it, all the cameos and things like that. So other people have to see it uh, and, and things like that. And what a beautiful love letter to Fox that movie was. I have a uh, out of the theater reaction up on my channel. You could check that out. But on to this, our DJ Robert Downey Jr. will be back in the MCU, not as Iron Man, maybe but as Dr. Doom, bro. We give you the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. We've been waiting in the MC, MCU to see Dr. Doom for a long time. Rumors had it have been silly and Murphy. I was like, Carlos Esposito would have played it, but he's already in uh, Captain America 3. But they went with Robert Downey Jr. And the, the internet is losing their damn mind over like, how's this, this terrible casting? Marvel's desperate. They might be. They might be desperate. But you know what? It doesn't matter, bro. It got everybody talking. And it's an interesting, you know, way to have Robert Downey Jr. in the MCU. Hold on, there's this car coming by me. So the internet is up in arms over the casting of Robert Downey Jr. Like, how can he do this? How can he be Iron Man and Doctor Doom? Um, yeah, and how do I feel about it? I don't know. I think, I think it's kind of a brilliant move by Marvel, Disney, to bring Robert Downey Jr. back. Not only that, uh, the movie, the new Avengers movie is called Doomsday. Uh, Kang is out of here. That Jonathan Major shit, I think they just scrapped that whole entire storyline because I think it would be confusing now without Jonathan Majors in the role as Kang. It wouldn't be confusing. They can make it happen, but I think Doomsday is, is better because we've been dying right. to see Dr. Great. Doom. So, um, And I believe probably Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in both movies here. I, I believe he's probably going to be in... Um... Hold on. Oh. Little bump. <laughs> yeah, I believe I believe Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be in um, Doomsday, and he's probably gonna be in the other one, uh, the Secret Wars. Which I'm hearing that's probably gonna reset the whole Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. And uh, how do I feel? I mean, I like. I mean, for sure, I know Robert Downey Jr. is gonna kill the role, bro. He's a, he just won the Oscar from from Oppenheimer. He could did more serious projects, but he went back to Marvel. Okay, they must have something good for him. And I think Robert Downey's uh, quote was, you know, what can I say? I like complicated characters. And there's no more uh, body who's more complicated than Iron Man and uh, Doctor Doom. So I'm excited. I'm gonna let them cook and see if they come up with. I'm gonna let them cook and see what they're gonna come up with. I'm there day one. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm just Robert Downey Jr. He's gonna kill whatever role you give him. And yes, he played Iron Man. Does it hurt his legacy? No. Because with this multiverse shit, you can do anything. You see, they just brought Logan back. <laughs> and Logan was dead as shit in the, uh, the uh, Deadpool Wolverine movie. So 
I'm gonna let Disney cook and see what they come up. Are they desperate? Did they um, hire the Russo brothers again to direct, you know, both movies and get Robert right. Downey Jr. Crazy. back? Yeah, because you know, with the, with that team, they were winning. You know what I'm saying? Russo brothers, Robert Downey Jr. They win. So not, why not go for the fucking win again? You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at it. Um, it's better. I think it's a better um, storyline than uh, Kane Dynasty, but I didn't know what they were going to do. But Dr. Doom, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the, the, you know, the nerds know more to me that, um, yeah, apparently it's a, it's a storyline with Dr. Doom and Iron Man. He had the, um, the suit and everything. I don't, I don't know about that comic. I'm not that deep into the comics, though. But definitely going to check it out, bro. Definitely gonna check. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for Robert Downey Jr. What do you guys think of this news? Uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, making all that money. Marvel's ramping back up again. The casting of Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom is huge. Um, I'm I'm excited. Uh, let me know y'all thoughts. Let's start. Let's start a, a conversation below. You know what I'm saying? What you guys think? If you are you hating it or are you, or are you like me? I'm just want to see. I just want to let them let them cook and see what they come up with. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit me that like button. If you really like this content, consider subscribing to the Q Review family. And don't just stare at it. <laughs> Eat it. I'm out cold. You hoes been exposed. Walk up on you slow with the flow. And I know you got mold. Left for dead on the road. I strode when your car got towed.